Just got here to the gym, sitting in the parking lot right now, just uh, sipping on my pre-workout. What I've got here is a scoop and a half of C450X, and you don't necessarily know how good something is until you haven't had it in a while. And it's been almost two months, maybe more than that, since I've had C450X. So good. The taste has always been amazing, but you forget how good it feels to have that super high beta alanine rush. And I started drinking this maybe like 10 minutes ago and it's already starting to hit me. So um, just kind of sitting here right now, finishing off my pre-workout, thinking about my actual workout that I'm gonna be doing with like my sets, my reps, things like that. I always like to sit here in my car before my workout, kind of visualize what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I always kind of like the theory or the quote that if you fail, to prepare, if you fail to prepare, then you're preparing to fail. So I always like to have a plan when I go into the gym, because if not, a lot of times you'll just walk in and you don't know what you're gonna be doing. You kind of spend most of your time thinking about the actual sets and reps that you wanna do, rather than thinking about the weight and pushing yourself to the next level. So I always like to have a plan when I go into the gym, but hitting chest today, just chest, not chest and triceps or anything like that. Um, it's like 3.34 p.m. right now, the gym closes at 5. So you're just gonna go in, warm up, hit chest real hard, and call it a day. So I'm um, going to finish off my pre-workout, and I'm gonna head in there and hit this chest workout. Right, guys so just finished up at the gym and it looks like it's been raining outside all day but honestly it just kind of goes in spurts and still it is like in the high 40s it's after Christmas now it's December 26 Christmas was yesterday and still other than back in November if you guys remember in one of my videos we have only had one like little span of snow and it lasted like two or three days which is enough for me for an entire winter but it's so it's crazy that we still have like no snow but i don't want to jinx it because here in the midwest and i know in a lot of northern areas in the i'm gonna set you guys down in the united states it really doesn't get bad until like january february ish um I know usually right around the Arnold Expo, which I am going to this year in Columbus, Ohio. I was there last year. I was there the year before. Um, so if you guys do want to like meet up, go get a workout in like an LA Fitness or something, let me know. Um, but yeah, I will be at the Arnold Expo. Usually right around that time, the end of February, the beginning of March, we get a ton of snow. I know the last two years I've been in Columbus, it has been freezing and a lot of snow, especially on the drive to and from. But um, having myself protein shake right here about to head home get some food not really sure what I'm gonna do the rest of the night but I'll let you guys know in the next clip all right so dinner tonight Pizza Hut pizza that is the cheese for my sisters but 
here we go. Meat lovers hand tossed without hamburger, so, or without sausage. So pepperoni, ham, I think there's hamburger on there, maybe bacon, something like that. But that is dinner tonight. Sure, over the holidays I haven't eaten the best, but one, I don't, I hate using the excuse that I'm bulking, but um, there's no reason to stress when you're with family, when you're just trying to enjoy yourself. There's no reason to stress over macros. As long as you're hitting them close, you should be good. So, got to eat this pizza, watch some bowl games, and have a good night. All right, so getting ready to head to the gym right now. And like I said yesterday, I ran out of my pre-grow, so I used what I had left of my C450X yesterday, but I used what was left of it. So I'm out of pre-workout, and I left my box of supplement uh, samples and all that stuff at school. Um, but I did find one sample of the Pro Subs Dr. Jekyll uh, pre-workout. Now, I've never had this stuff, so I'm going to be taking this today with um, my, I don't know, I guess just water. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be mixing it with. So, um, never tried the Jekyll before. I used to take Mr. Hyde. I went through a few samples of that when I got a big um, package of samples and things from Pro Sups. But if I can even open this sample. So, um, this is the blue Raz flavor of Jekyll. So, gonna give this a try and see how it goes. It smells good. It smells like Kool Aid. So, that's a plus. Um, but, yeah, gonna see how this goes. Just gonna give you an initial taste test right now because I can't tell you if the beta alanine or anything like that is good in it. Um, yeah, so. Holy cow. Initial taste test is, that is Kool-Aid. <laughs> that is legit Kool-Aid. That is good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head to the gym, hit this back workout, and I'll let you guys know um, if Jekyll is actually good and it actually works, gives me energy. So I'm going to head to the gym, hit back, see you guys there. All right, guys, so I'm going to be bringing you a commentary over this back workout. Not really going to be talking about the back workout very much, but just kind of wanted to update you guys a little bit on my channel, what you guys can expect to see in the next week, in the next month, in the next year. Um, in the next week, with the end of 2015, which sounds crazy to me, but with the end of 2015, right around the corner, you guys know I absolutely, absolutely love movies. And last year, I did a top 10 movies of 2014 and I am 100% going to be doing that again this year. You guys can expect in the next couple days me releasing my top 10 movies of 2015. I've been keeping a list of everything I've seen this year. Now I haven't seen everything and the list is 100% my own opinion and my own interest so I just want to so warn you guys for that. Now the movies might not be the best films of the year but they're the ones I enjoyed the most so that's what you guys can expect over the next week and moving into 2016 I definitely plan on like I said earlier going to the Arnold Expo going to some more expos I'm not sure about LA Fit Expo just because it might conflict with my school schedule but I'm planning on going to the Olympia in September I really want to kind of expand a little bit more once school is done for me in May and really really grow as a YouTuber, really grow as a personal trainer, and just do a lot more things with this YouTube channel once I have a little bit more time to just really pour into it. But those are some of the things that you guys can expect over the next week, over the next month, and throughout the next year. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. I definitely know I am. But this is going to wrap up the commentary. Enjoy the rest of the video, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. This trench thing blows. It needs to reload faster. Turd down there somewhere? Here he comes. What a piece of junk. Why? He's down there somewhere. I I'm going to squeeze out enough points unless it just stops giving them to me. Oh, great. Oh, he died? Yeah. Yeah, but you got to at least knock his legs off mm -hmm. so I can try the ray gun. Tell him if he's coming down. Okay.
Ooh, knocked his legs off. That was a good shot.